So that is my first Valentine experience. Either I thought I'm going to get kidnapped or actually going to jail. Oh, you guys, we did something illegal. Oh my goodness, I did not know. <laughs> Hi my fave, welcome to Mice Moment, the best trainer for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. As you can see, I already finished with the basic, which means that I have applied foundations and did my eyebrows. If you're a beginner, you can definitely check out this video right here where I'm going to share in detail how to do this eyebrows. Back to this video, I'm going to challenge myself and do three famous YouTuber Valentine looks. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off using Nikki Tutorial Eye Makeup first, which is right here. Oh my god, it is so edgy and so beautiful. So I'm going to see what do I have in my kit that can match this look. So I'm going to start off with a P. Louise. This is blank canvas. And I know that Nikki Tutorial loves this product right here because her lid is kind of red. So whenever she applies this product, it could be a perfect canvas when she adds more colors on top of it. I'm using M431 brushes and dip in this dark red colors and I'm going to shade it in creating a crease line. If you don't have a crease line, don't worry, you can definitely fake it. Like me, I have a model lid, so technically I have to fake it to make it. If you are blessed with a natural crease line, just go ahead and blend in on your natural crease line and you want to go above it because later we're going to cut crease. And then keep blending in. It looks intense at first, but trust me that this is not going to look crazy when you finish at the end. When it's come to red eyeshadow, it tends to be really harsh to blend, so definitely you have to work in pieces and gradually build the color up. You don't want to add too much colors and could not take it off later on. Next, I want to create an ombre effect, so I'm going to pick this pink colors and blend it on top of the red and gradually building it up so it can have a radiance result. Next, I'm going to pick up this matte nude colors and blend it under my eyebrows so it can create a lifted effect and also it look nice and combined with the pink and reddish colors. Next process, I'm going to use the method of cut crease. I'm using P. Louise in the colors blank canvas. At this part, you want to work slowly and precise as possible because you want to create a perfect line. This is where you realize that you might not add enough eyeshadows in the beginning process. So definitely go ahead and apply as much as you can. And whenever you are doing cut crease, it will show through and it'll look really nice at the end. Where I just cut crease, I'm going to place this shimmer gold colors on top of that because it's going to make it more vibrant. I'm going to use a clean brushes and blending those color ends. And most amazing thing about a concealer is that the colors tend to stay better. Also, it prevents from creasing or cracking. So based on the pictures I see, there is a shimmer glitter strips right above the cut crease or kind of like and line between. I'm going to use this cover effect. Hopefully this is going to turn out the same. This is a shimmer veil. Uh, oh my gosh, this product here, I would not recommend it, you guys. This is cover effect. It is supposed to be expensive and I cannot get the colors out of this. Oh my gosh, it is so hard. Can you see it? Like it's barely even there. Like. I remember I barely use it, so what happened to it? It's all drying up, so do I recommend this product? No, no, not at all. It's really hard for me to work with. Maybe it's just drying or what happened. If you have this product and it worked beautifully, definitely comment below. Maybe I'm the only crazy person in here having such a hard time. For eyeliner, I want it perfectly straight, so I'm going to use this Scott tape. And what I'm going to do is trying to put on like your shirt or clothes, something like that, to get the sticky part off so your skin will not rip apart whenever you try to take it out. So I'm just kind of like taking off the stickiness of it. Placing a Scott tape on the side corner of your eyes and place it secure in place then. I'm going in with a liquid eyeliners just in case if your hand is shaking or you're not really good with eyeliners. This is a really great method to use if you want a perfect eyeliners. 
After you take off the Scott tape, it is just a guidance, so you definitely need to retrace it again just to make sure that the line it is perfect. Then fill in any missing spot as you desire. It would not complete this look if I did not add some colors on the bottom of my lid. So I'm going to pick up this color pink and then blend it in. I can see in the pictures that she have a double wings line. First is black and another one is pink. So I'm using a detail brush to stretch out the colors to create a second wing. I think this one, it is really old and I'm over here trying to use it. It's all dry up. Look at that application. Oh my God, it is all jacked up. Seriously, this needs to go in the trash because it is too old. <laughs> Sometimes you just have makeup in your kit that is like, you know, 10 year old. I don't think this is 10 year old. I think it's probably like a year, but it's gotta go. I can see that she have a little heart on the top and on the bottom. It is super cute. Unfortunately, I don't have the same colors as she, so I'm going to use a different colors for here. It's like confetti for your nails. I'm going to apply it for my eyes. There we go. Oh, look at the reflections. So I'm finished with Nikki tutorial eye makeup. I'm going to move on to Jam Charles. This is so cute. It's like a crying heart. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put like a nude colors under my um, waterline. As he using white, I'm going to use a nude colors because that's what I'm having. As you can see, the nude colors bring out my eyes because it's creating a bigger illusion. And that's what he did on his eye makeup. So next part is like a crying glitter heart that is so cute. And I'm going to use a detail brush and dip it in the color pink. And what I'm doing, just trying to like do a zigzag movement so it can create a t illusion of teardrop so a zigzag movement will definitely bring out the crying portion so to create the glitter effect i'm going to use this heavy metal from urban decay so definitely you don't need a lot as i can see that he adds some heart on his teardrops so I'm going to do that also using the House of Lashes. This is the eyelashes adhesive and I'm going to place on the random place that I want to add my heart. So right here. So I'm going to work on my left eye and I'm going to share with you a story of my first Valentine. As a kid, I'm basically a dreamer when it's come to love. You always dream the best butterflies and rainbow, but in reality, it is hurricane, thunder, and everything go into it. So well, I have my first boyfriend when I was in 12th grade, while my friends have their first boyfriend in 6th or 7th grade, so I'm basically a late bloomer. I recall that a week before Valentine's Day, we were really mad at each other, so we did not talk at all. In the morning of Valentine, I decided to text and call him, but it was completely silent. There was no response at all. After lunchtime, which is like one, I received a random text from this number. I have no clue who that was. In the text, it's saying there will be a red or a white car is coming to pick you up and this is what shirt he wearing. Go in the cars at 5 p.m. He gonna ride to your house, dress warm. That's all I say. So I was like, oh my gosh, who's this? So I replied, I was like, who's this? Is this blah, blah, blah. So I asked my friend, should I go or not? And she tell me you might miss out if you do not go. Yeah. If it's going to be like somewhere you know where you're going, maybe that's the right decisions. But if it's come from a really random number, I would say no. But me, at that young age, I'm crazy, so I did go. So after school, I went home and get dressed, look pretty. At 5, I look out of my window and there was this cars. And he stepped out of the cars. It is not my boyfriend's, which is my ex now. I went out and look at him and then he's like, well, come into this car. And I did not want to sit in the passenger seat. I just go ahead and sit behind him at the driver. So if I need to go all kung fu on him, I got it. 
and in the middle of the journey he said that hey can you wear this uh, i need you to be blindfold when we get to this destinations first of all that is crazy will i do that again no but during that time i did so for another 20 minute or so i mean it took so long i don't even know where i'm at i don't know where i'm going that was a really bad decision so ladies if you are young, place more wise than what I did. So when we at a stop, I was like, okay, I'm getting a little nervous now. And I was like, can I take off my blindfold? So I took it off and then I look around and it's literally like a desert or a forest. Seriously. I was like, where am I at? I just got really shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm being kidnapped. Like crazy. And then out of far, I see my boyfriends coming up to me and my heart just pound and I'm about to cry because I thought I just got kidnapped making the stupidest decisions of my life. And he opened the door and I basically almost bust into tears. And he said that, oh, I have a make a special day for you. That my best friend and I go a day before and decorate this place, the gazebo with light. Up high in the mountain, <laughs> something like that, where there's a church, looks so beautiful and so cute. We were still mad at each other at that point, remember? So he say, are you hungry? I was like, heck yeah, I am hungry. I mean, I'm over here, did not eat lunch because I was worried about relationships and then he say okay well are you ready to go eat and I was like yes so I thought that we gonna go into his cards and he's like no 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 we are going to eat at the gazebo no. where's the food at like where's the food and and he pop out of this like cooking tool I'm serious, like cooking stove. I'm going to show a picture right here. But we basically out of nowhere, you guys. And we are up in the mountains and he putting out his like cooking stove. And I thought that was the most funniest thing. He pulled out some pot <laughs> and pan. And then, and I was like, what are we eating? He's like, well, we're gonna eat ramen noodle. I was like, are you serious? He was like, here's the chopstick for you. Here's a chopstick for me. And I was like, wow, this is going to be pretty funny. As all of the woman imagination, you would think that you go into this fancy restaurants with all this beautiful, delicious food. No, where we at? I was eating ramen noodle. Remember the guys that took me there? He also had a girl with him. So it become a double date. It was so cute. Then later, we did something illegal, you guys. Oh my gosh. No, we did not get drunk because we are underage. And no, we did not take drugs. But we did something that is pretty crazy. Is that he say, hey, it's so lit. Let's light a firework. I thought that is just an expression. No, they really have firework behind their trunks. And so they, you know, lit it up. That's what you're supposed to do in firework. I thought that was kind of lit like legal in any time but no don't do that and then there's come this man coming out to us and say did you guys know you're not supposed to do this here did you get permissions from the church in order to do that and we were like oh we supposed to get permission they were like if you don't stop now we're gonna call the cop and i was like okay we gotta move never mind never mind and so we just left and then by the time that i got back to the car he said that i have a present for you behind my trunk and i was like oh really and then he opened up his trunk it was so cute like the balloons basically just rise up really romantic i have to admit that that was really romantic he take his rose that he bought to give it to me and then he give me a box of chocolate i just want to let you know i don't like chocolate when it's like the heart chocolate i don't know i don't like those kind of stuff so i tell him you know that i don't really like chocolate and then he just like like oh no you're gonna love this and i was like 
but did I tell him that I don't like chocolate? Uh, that's kind of weird, but okay, I'm gonna take it anyways because, you know, it was pretty cute. So I took it, and then I did not realize a week later, I opened the box of chocolate, it's actually replaced with a beef jerky. Oh my gosh, that was so legit. I think that was very clever because he know that I love beef jerky. So he put so much thought and dedication to it. So I have to definitely give him a prop for it. So that is my first Valentine experience. Either I thought I'm going to get kidnapped or actually going to jail. So comment below if you have the craziest Valentine day. Let's move on to Nikita Dragons. She have like a strips of heart around her cheek and nose. It is super pretty. So I'm going to use this brushes and as you can see it pick up a lot of colors. I'm just going ahead and swirl around on my hand so it can be like blend in really well. So it's not going to be intense colors when I place it on my face. And I'm just going to dab it around my face like this. So every time when I dip the colors, I definitely have to blend it out on the palm of my hands before I'm going to apply that. And I'm just basically starting off my cheeks right here. And then I'm going to put on top of the tip of my nose like this, like a red nose reindeers. We got it. And then I'm just going to use a dabbing motion to apply all over my cheeks like this strips here. So I'm going to use this product right now. And I'm going to pick up this color pink right here. And what I'm going to do is making a V like this. And then I'm just going to shade it in. There's no particular design or consistency where you're going to place the heart. So just go ahead and place a heart where you desire. You can definitely create a different size of heart if you want to. But basically you are going to create a V shape, then fill in, in the edge and bam, you have the completed heart. It is super cute and easy to do. I also adding some heart on my nose and I found it's a little bit tougher to add on your nose rather than on your cheek because it's more slippery so just be careful whenever you're placing heart on your nose. So we're going to add some transparent heart and what I'm going to do is using this small brushes and then I'm going to dab on the places I know that I'm going to add hollow heart like right here. A little bit more intense colors and I'm going to blend it in right here. It might look strange at first but definitely trust the process whenever you are placing in intense colors on the background and then draw a white paint over it is going to look really cool as a result. The method is to draw a V, then fill it in on the side to make a perfect curves, and there we go. You have a perfect heart. I also add some white on the empty spot. And there you have it. This is the makeup of three different makeup guru that packed it into one face. I hope you found this video helpful. There's another two video waiting for you to click. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications, and as always, love yourself, stay motivated, peace out.